All right. It's cat boy time. Save that. Save that shit and load it. He's not a cat boy. He's not a cat boy. He's not a cat boy. I don't care. I don't care. I just... I need you to know he's I not know a cat boy. Cowboy. I know he's not. Listen, let me don't click it. I want to click it. I'm going to let you click it. I know how much how strongly you feel about it. Let this. me just say for the record, Robin, I know mm -hmm. that Alcar is not a cat boy. You swallowed again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that Alcar is not a cat boy. I will continue calling him a cat boy from now until the day that I lie in my grave. And there's nothing you can swallow about it. You keep teasing. <laughs> uh, you know that John Mulaney sketch where he talks about the 13... When you're crossing the road and there are 13-year-olds there and they're gonna make... You feel like... Always feel like 13-year-olds are gonna make fun of the one thing that you're insecure yeah. about. Like, that man has feminine hips. <laughs> <I'm, Yeah. laughs> like, you, you make, you're you making fun of me for swallowing and I go, No, that's the thing I'm sensitive <laughs> about. Okay, I'll stop it. Okay. Okay, I do want to say before we jump into Alcar... August, like, really? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right. Now let's feel oh, Once real. again, August sneaks up on you. I have someone who can show me around. And then very well. Very well. Blah, 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 blah. Just remember that all are on you, and don't forget to change. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. I nod, smiling politely. Yes, Jen. I think that's an accurate uh, delivery. Good evening, Hunter. I said it for you. After a quick outfit change, I step out of the warmth of the wolf and into the snow-covered night to find a wolf of a different kind. Lunars looked strangely beautiful, and I... Found him! That was easy! Alcar! What do you want him to sound like this time? He has 15 different voices. Um, I don't remember what he... Wasn't he just kind of like... We're just gonna go for Cockney, probably. What, weren't you trying to... Who was Scottish? Somebody was Scottish. Was he... No, he's Scottish. I'm just... Would you prefer me to keep tr trying very badly to do a Scottish accent, or... Well, do it right quick, and let me, like, get a sample platter. Can I get a tasting pour of the Scottish accent, please? What? Interesting. All right, all right. That's what you got. That's that's what he says. Where'd you come from? He looks at me, then to the alley beside the tavern, then back to me. All right, let's get another little little Scottish sampler. Where do you think I came from? I'm into from? that. I'm into that. Let's do the Scottish one. I roll my eyes, but I can't help but smile at his complete lack of charm. I'm charmed. What are you talking about? Well, you appeared just in time. I need someone to show me around the festival. He makes a dismissive noise, his tail drooping. I was hoping to avoid it, actually. No, you weren't. And literally That's every other date, you've been there with Omen. Why's that? Because it's shite? <clears throat> Why would I want to go and spend my time with people who despise me? I don't despise you. Hey, Alcar. Hang out with me. He has a point. <laughs> don't be a coward! That's what- Okay. I'm probably a messed up person because don't be a coward. If you say it a certain kind of way, that's the flirting one. This one, I don't know. I did just call you a, fl a coward earlier, so I might be sort of... But you also immediately said, then spend time with me. Did I? Like, you said, he said uh, something about people not liking him and you said, then go with me or something like that. That was like basically... Oh, IRL, really I said that? This. Okay, yeah. Yeah, IRL. I sigh, exasperated by his stubbornness. Then why don't you just see it as a way to spend time with me? God, I'm full of myself. I know I'd enjoy your company. He huffs, but he's quite clearly shocked, if not a little flattered by my statement. Stop making that face. Smile. Smile, you bastard. No matter how hard he tries to hide it. Well, I guess it wouldn't be so terrible. You're probably you got it. You're probably the most wow. You got it. You're probably the most inter interesting person in the shitty little town right now. Alcar, thank you so much. I'm charmed. I feel like I'm like eating breadcrumbs right now. Like this is. You should these be. Are not these are not compliments that I'm like. Wow, thank you so much. I laugh, and his sly smile turns into something brighter until he clears his throat, trying to shake it off. You like me. You like me. Let's dash then. I need a drink. I need a drink. We have to dash. Can we walk normally? I guess I'm buying. You sure as shit are. I guess I did ask you out. That's fair. Those are the rules. I think that I've just made up. I'm taken aback by the. I think this bitch is broke. He lives in the. Oh woods. yeah, this bitch is broke. Sir, sure. he lives in the woods. I'm taken aback by the way the market has come alive tonight. 
Having only passed it when getting myself acquainted with the town, it's thrilling to see it so full, so vibrant. It's densely packed, and I hazard a guess that every Lunarian has ventured out despite the snow. I can feel Alcar tensing beside me, his tail curled, his wolf ears flat against his head. It's okay, Alcar. I've got your back. I can look after myself, you know. I didn't ask. I said, I've got your back. He huffed. Did I ask, bitch? I'm gonna defend you, whether you like it or not. So just sit down and <laughs> shut up and look pretty, because that's what's <laughs> happening. You know what you're here for. You know what you're here for. He huffs, exasperated, taking a deep breath to calm himself. I'm not scared, I'm just aware. Aware. <laughs> Get it? It's a pun. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's very <laughs> I know that's not what he is, technically, but... Ah! Ah! <laughs> I've not had many good experiences with the humans lately, especially since the murders began That's happening. fair. That makes sense. You've been profiled. They used to be friendly towards me. I could move around in peace, unbothered. And now? A heavy sigh, his shoulders sagging. They just lash out. Bro, I'm sorry. I get it. They're scared, confused, but I would never hurt, hurt, hurt them. Never hurt them. I know, honey. He averts his gaze, and I feel a wave of guilt. I forgot how, like, pretty I found Alcar. <laughs> his. Yeah. <laughs> Swaying you back from August pretty quick. <laughs> Alcar. I mean, August has got a look. August has a really... I mean, you know how I feel about those boots. But this is, like, I forgot about the scar, and I have a real thing for that. Like, that's cool. And... <sighs> Alcar? I think Elkar has the best smile. Yeah. Like, I think Elkar wins hands down. Also, Elkar's, like, grumpy face probably hurts my feelings the most. <laughs> it's pity love. Yeah. I would never, never hurt them if I could help it. I understand. He's a lycan. He has no control over what he does when he transforms. I cannot fathom the guilt he must feel if he truly has ever hurt someone by mistake, and I feel a certain sense of guilt myself. You're being too quiet. Sorry. I've definitely jumped to conclusions about his kind before, but getting to know him makes me see that they can be just as human as I am. You can't help what you do when you turn. He looks down at his bare feet, a sad, lopsided smile crossing his lips. His feet are probably so dirty. Yeah, I know, it's gross. Yeah, well, I could try to shite try harder. Aww. Anyway, Weren't you supposed to be showing me a good time? Yes! <laughs> did you, what did you slam my desk? I laugh, my brows raised at the off-the-cuff statement. I had no idea you felt that way. I'm charmed, really. He sputters, lips curled into a snarl. You know what I meant. I know what you meant. Hey, Alka, I know what you meant. Wink. Wink, wink. <laughs> That's me. He tugs his hood a little higher, keeping a low profile as we weave our way into the busier areas of the market. He hangs onto the back of my coat. <laughs> Staying close, just like I asked him. <laughs> a duckling. A taller than you duckling. He's so cute under my coat. I expected more stares, more people curious about why I'm with him, but people seem to be far too distracted by the festivities. He yanks me to a stop, leaning close and whispering in my ear. I see Omen, over there. Don't ditch me for your other date. This is our date. He points, and I follow his finger, finding the demon standing by himself beside the drink stall. Do you want to go and say hi? Yes, come on. He swiftly jumps in front of me, taking off running, his tail swaying freely behind him. I see how it is. Excited to see Omen, not excited to see me. To be fair, he's known you for like three I days. don't care. Ezra's already in love with me, so why can't Alcar be? <laughs> Considering he was so concerned about being hounded, he doesn't seem to be bothered by how loudly he yells to get Omen's attention. You keep going for people with really high barriers. I don't want to investigate that right now. <laughs> I watch as he picks him up by the waist, swinging him around once before releasing him. That's cute as fuck. That is so adorable. Ah, so the little blush. A bright flush spreads across the demon's cheeks, and I notice that he has his mouth full. Don't eat chocolate. 
He starts chewing furiously so that he can sweet speak, swallowing loudly. What are you doing here? I didn't think you wanted to come? The best response Alcock can muster after his unexpected outburst is an indifferent shrug, causing Omen to roll his eyes and turn his attention to me. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hello, Omen. Are you here alone? Do you want to crash my date, you jerk? He shakes his head, his tail flickering behind him, flicking behind him, swaying from side to side. You know he would never do it on purpose. I know. Nope. Uh, Fien and Ezra are here somewhere. They went to find something. Thank you, Omen. Did they just left you all alone? Well, I can't do Alcar's voice right after. I know, it seems hard. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> they just left you here alone with all these humans around? The humans don't care about me. I stay quiet, they don't really notice. Algar sighs, licking the pointed tip of one of Omen's ears. Stop, stop flirting. What did I... What did I teach you? That's, you've got that's it, you've got it, you've got it, you've got it. What did I teach you? Never let your guard down, okay? I know, sorry. I'll go find them right away. This is our date! Alcar! <laughs> Alcar! Are you trying to stop laughing? Alcar! Alcar! Do the line. <laughs> I can't! I'm laughing! Alcar, this is hurting my feelings! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just you're so invested! And then Alcar is just flirting with Omen Alcar right in front of your salad. Bad. Alcar's the worst. He sucks. He's flirting with other people on our dates. <laughs> I mean, granted, I don't think he knows it's a date, but he did because he didn't see the menu. He's like, come on, man. He didn't see the menu. Yeah, he didn't see the like you know fighter screen. He doesn't know the. Oh. Date. <laughs> I thought you were like food menu. I was like, what? No. <laughs> Say the line. So okay. Bye, hot stuff. <laughs> Ow, God, you're breaking my heart. Omen snorts, his ears twitching. Little, nice to see you. I can't get that kind of response from you, Algar. I quirk an accusatory brow at him, trying to stifle my smile. Hot stuff? Algar rolls his eyes quite dramatically, pointedly avoiding my gaze. Have you touched the... Have you touched the guy? He's boiling even one, even if one warmer one than I do, and that's a feat. <laughs> I can't seem to help myself. My curiosity peaks. Well, it's also like your options are flirt with a guy or ask a really intrusive question about how his blood works. Hey, bud, how does your blood works? And exactly, you're just like so. So, what's the deal with hybrids? Like, it's weird, right? Fully, you're just gonna like, walk up to somebody to ask that. Oh my god, you can't just ask people why they're hybrids. And mm. exactly, I was thinking earlier about a Mean Girls version of it. <laughs> I know we've already done like the high school. We already thing, did the high school thing. It's it's been done. It's played. And exactly, how warm are you? But August as Gretchen Wieners. Shut up. <laughs> he studies my expression, running his tongue over his short fangs. Wanna find out? Yeah. I didn't expect him to play along, so I nod, holding out my arm. He unwinds the wrap. He unwinds. I'm sorry, I'm dropping stuff. The wraps that wind around his hand, the full extent of his scars revealed to me. Can I get art of that? He catches me looking. Gross, huh? Nothing about you is gross except for your feet. <laughs> I shake my head, wiggling my fingers. You don't go years of being a hunter without seeing a few scars, Alcar. And I certainly wouldn't be a very good one if I was put off by them. I guess you're right. So, uh, nothing new then? I smile. Nothing new. His smirk grows, almost morphing into a smile. Almost. He curls his fingers around my wrist, and the heat hits me immediately. It seeps right down to my bones, a comfort I didn't know I needed, chasing away the biting cold. Well? I clear my throat, my pulse quickening, protesting beneath his fingertips. Oh, I hope he can't feel it. Feels nice. 
He exhales sharply as we stare at one another. I imagine he can probably hear you better than a human can, so he can probably- I thought- probably what I meant is like, he's got his hand on my wrist, what if he's just taking my pulse? He exhales sharply as we stare at one another. It's quiet, but I notice. He withdraws his touch, re-wrapping his hand. His cheeks are lightly flushed as he does so, and he refuses to meet my he's gaze. He's too, too con- focused on how he's feeling, he probably didn't even notice how you- how you True. Were. Told you I was one. I- Yep, you told me. It's nice. I like it. I'm not surprised. You humans are freezing. I don't know how you Alpha, stand it. work with me here. Work with me here, okay? Can you work with me here? <sighs> hey, don't complain. Are you just rolling dice? No, I have our friendship rock in my hand. <laughs> Do you Aww. remember our friendship rock? Yeah, I, I remember our friendship it rock. It is sitting in a tray of dice. I'm, I'll stop. I'll stop doing that. Mine is over here somewhere. I thought we were... <laughs> I know we talked jokingly about having you, like, bring your dice this next time we recorded so you could, like, roll your dice and pretend that you rolled... Pretend this, this was D&D and you rolled whatever stat yeah. for your charisma checks. <laughs> hey, don't complain. You'll be begging me to cool you down in the summer. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, Santa. I don't care. I find that hard to believe, dog boy. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I bite my bottom lip, catching his crimson gaze and holding it. Want to place a bet on that? He huffs at that, flustered, and I decide that Alcar definitely begs. <laughs> Thank you, Alcar. I asked you to work with me, and you're working with me. So, now what? You're the one who dragged me here. I'm following your lead. Remember? No, I specifically said I need somebody to show me around, but okay. I hum, trying to figure out what to do in a place I have no knowledge of. Where are the food stalls? Are you hungry? Now you're talking my langu- language. Robin's also talking your language and doing a great job. Thank you. <laughs> I will make fun of myself for doing a bad Scottish accent later. This way. He cocks his head, gesturing for me to follow him back into the crowd. He seems far less bothered by the amount of people that are here, apparently able to be relatively normal when there's food involved. We follow our noses, the sweet scent of freshly baked pastries and cakes luring us in. I spot a white forelock in the crowd, nudging Alcar in the ribs to alert him to Ezra's presence. Okay, like I get it, everybody's at the festival! He takes off running again, and I watch as he sneaks up behind the witch. Can you be normal for ten seconds? As Alcar attempts to scare the living daylights out of him by yelling, as returns calmly, undete- undeterred. He's used to He's it. He's like, whatever. He rolls his eyes, but his smile is bright. Hey, bud. <laughs> I thought we were too boring for you, and you were going to stay at the shop. Oh, everybody's too boring except me, huh? I see how it is. Alcar bristles, his nose crinkling as he smirks at Ezra defiantly. Yeah, well... I changed my I mind. I changed his mind. Ooh, I bumped into my, ma- my mic with my lip. <laughs> I was really aggressive for that one. <laughs> Ezra looks at me as I approach, registering, registering that we're here together. <laughs> changed your mind all by yourself. Hmm? Nothing to do with our friend Nothing here. Nothing to do with our friend here. Alcar huffs, busying himself by picking at a stray thread that hangs from his tattered shirt. Is he behaving? No. He's flirting with other people. I see an opportunity and take it, narrowing my eyes at Alcard, twisting my mouth into a grimace. Hmm, so-so. He's okay. I can tell you tell you two will get along swimmingly. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask. How are you feeling after last night? Alcar looks at me, concerned etched on his face, a deep furrow in his brow. Yeah, you don't know about this. What happened last night? Wow. What, what happened last night? Okay. I'm fine. Thank you, Ezra. Just still a bit confused, but I'll figure it out. I'll explain later, Alcar. Now is not the time or the place, though. I think about someone in the crowd possibly hearing me, thinking better of uttering another word about my encounter. You know where I am if you need me. As soon as Ezra's voice comes back to me, I cannot do all cars anymore. I hate this. Uh, hey, did the demon find you? Was that your Alcar voice? A little bit. <laughs> I only have. Here's the thing: is I don't really have a wide vocal register, so I'm making do with the accents. Mm-hmm. And 
when he says things that don't have a lot of aren't very yeah. accented, then it ends up sounding like Omen. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Omen. Yes, he found us. He's with Finn finding a good spot for the fire for the fireworks. No need to worry. Uh, speaking of, I'd better attempt to find them before they get before they get uh, swallowed by the cloud. Should we explain Farewell, what the friends. friendship rock is? <laughs> oh no, I think we should just keep them guessing. Okay. You finished that when I interrupted you, I'm sorry. Farewell, friends. Enjoy the rest of your evening. The wink. The wink. What is that I said? Are you okay? Alcar, I love so much Are that you okay? you're worried about me, Alcar. I'm fine, but that's a story for another day. Somewhere with less people. He looks a little wounded, but he nods, understanding. Okay, fair enough. Did you still want to get food? The wolves howl at the man. <laughs> I don't know, do they? He laughs at that, his shoulders shaking. Nice. But seriously, I'm so hungry. I added You that. did, yeah. Alcar eagerly scoffs down a couple slices of apple cake I purchased for him, eyeing mine when he's finished. This one's mine. Alcar, this one's mine. Alcar Damn it! <sighs> Fine. I wanted my cake. I look down at the remainder of my cake, then back up at Alcar. Well, you ate some of your cake. Uh, I guess. I'm surprised he hasn't swiped it from my plate and run off into the crowd the way he's staring at it, nothing short of desperate. Don't you get fed? I get fed. It's just a liking thing. We don't a liking thing. Fine. It's it's just a liking thing. We we don't get full easily. Wolves are greedy creatures. He huffs, nudging my shoe with his bare toes. Don't do that. Would you like to finish my cake? His eyes grow wide and he nods quickly, rubbing his hands together. I laugh at his eagerness and pick a bite-sized piece off the slice, holding it up. You're a joking. Do I look like I'm fucking joking? Alcar, look me in the fucking eyes. I'm about to feed you this fucking cake if it kills the both of us. I shrug, a smile playing on my lips. I'm not joking. If he wants it, he'll have it my way. Do you want it or not? He grumbles, muttering something under his breath, tawny cheeks turning a charming shade of crimson. I want it. Thank you, Robin. He steps forward, curling his fingers around my wrist and holding me steady. Maybe not trusting that I won't play a joke on him. <laughs> You're gonna do the food equivalent of um, Lucy with the, with the football. With the football. He makes a point to make eye contact with me, and I can't help the foolish grin that crosses my lips as he leans in. I watch as he parts his lips, seeing his short, sharp fangs as he takes a careful bite. He hums, content, smirking at me. You like to play games, don't you? This is... Yeah, I do. I hand him the paper plate, and he scoops up the rest of the cake. You're just so easy to play with, Alcar. He sputters, covering his mouth as he struggles to swallow down his final mouthful. I hear a cheer in the distance, guessing that the fireworks are about to begin. We better go if we want to get a good view. That in the sky. I can see the sky. How much more, more of a better view do you want? That's what I've been saying this whole time, Alcar. <laughs> You're like, same wavelength. Don't be surly. Come on, let's go. We run through the crowds, Alcar leading the way, his tail bobbing in front of me. Cute. He's fast, darting between densely packed bodies with startling ease, almost a shadow. If I idly wonder what he's like in his hybrid form, thinking about that brand and trying to piece together, uh, I, uh, I said if, whatever, trying to piece together what he could have possibly done to deserve it. He turns to check I'm keeping up, smirking over his shoulder when he sees that I am impressed. He reaches out, offering me his hand as we draw near to the crowd that gathers for the display. Of course, I'll take his hand. Ooh. I take it without hesitation, squeezing him slightly as he drags me onward. Our laughter echoes, ringing out over the chatter of the crowd. I'm fast, but Alcar is faster, and I'm thoroughly impressed. The second we hit the docks, the sky, the sky bursts to life, fireworks fizzing against the backdrop of stars. We both look skyward as we skid to a stop, practically crashing into one another. 
Our smiles are wide, bright, and I do not let go of Alcar's hand. See, everybody else will hold hands with me, August. He holds mine tighter. Robin? Hmm. There you go. <laughs> What do you that one was the hardest. What are you thinking? I think blind delivery in my whole uh game. He stares at me, vivid scarlet eyes burning into mine. I see the bob of his throat as he swallows. The way the scar that cuts through his lip shifts as he smiles. I enjoyed tonight. And you're surprised about that? A series of ever changing colors reflect upon his skin. Red, blue, green, white. He opens his mouth to speak, and I notice just how close we are, his breath warm against my skin. I swallow thickly, another squeeze of his hand. Then, somewhere in the distance rings out a terrible and blood-curdling scream. Well, that's the dates. That's all the dates. That's all the dates. Let me click. I'm gonna save. It's save time. it up. Save it up. Okay. I. So we have a decision to make. Have a decision to make. And I. Who are we gonna finish the game don't with? Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, this is the end of the recording, so we can we can announce it at the beginning of the next recording. I don't know. I'm gonna literally be like tossing and turning tonight, trying to decide between August and Alcar. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is horrible. Well, thank, thank, as always, thank y'all for watching, yeah. even though we don't always thank y'all for watching. Um, if you're watching this, don't. If you're watching this, don't. That should be our, our slogan. That should be our channel title. If you're watching this, don't. And we will see y'all at some other point in time.